it's like thick with like one C versus that one is thick with like a thousand C's. Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing an Ipsy Box unboxing for the month of June. I know it is super late, but this time it's not my fault. I literally just got my Glam Bag Plus box yesterday. So I'm trying to do this as soon as possible and get it up to you guys as soon as I can. I've really had a lot of support the last couple of weeks. So thank you guys so much. I love that you guys are loving my content and that makes me just want to continue. So again, thank you guys so much. If you haven't seen one of these videos before, I like to talk about last month's products, tell you how they worked, if I used them again, all stuff like that. And then I go into this month's products and then later we will do on a try on of as many of the products as I possibly can. I'm probably going to fill the try on portion tomorrow just based on time that I have today. So today we're going to do the talking about last month's. We'll open up this month and then the try on will be tomorrow. So I'll just be wearing different clothes. It'll be in the same video. So don't worry, you guys won't have to like wait or anything like that. All right, without any further ado, let's get on into this video. Last month's May glam bag, we got five items. The first item that we received was the Farrah Brushes Large Blender Blush in the 25EL. I used that in that video and I actually really liked it. I liked the way that it was able to pack on product and blend it. Farrah brushes are probably my favorite type of brush to use, so I'm definitely excited to get another one of those. The next thing that we had received was the Sunday's Nail Polish in number eight. That was that beautiful pinky color. I actually have that on my nails currently, so my toenails, not my nail nails. So I am going to insert a picture of that here so that you can see just how gorgeous that was because honestly guys, it is beautiful. I really, really like it. I know we said we weren't that channel, but looks like it's just happening with all the feet we've been talking about recently. The next thing that we had received was the Bomb Cosmetics Auto Bomb Pick Perfect in St. Charles Avenue. And I talked so much crap about that, but honestly, I really did like it. I haven't used it since just because I've been doing more colorful things and I've gotten a lot of products in on the colorful side, but I really do like the way it worked. It blended well. It was a perfect matte shade. So I'm sorry, the Bomb Cosmetics. I take back everything I said last month. Um, I just don't want a lot of you guys. <laughs> the next thing that we had received was the Jejuin, I still can't pronounce it, sleeping mask, aloe gel, and uh, hydro, hydro, hy, hyaluronic acid. <laughs> sleeping mask and I didn't use it. I haven't used it since then. I haven't even thought about it. I forgot it existed. So maybe by next video, I will have used it or maybe I'll use it tonight and kind of let you guys know how it worked before the try on portion, but who knows. And then the last thing was my You Pick It item that was the Tarte C Jelly Glaze Anytime Lip Mask and Strawberry Jelly. And once again, I still just haven't used it. Since last time, since the last time you guys have seen me, I have actually received a bunch of lip glosses from Pine Gloss LLC. She is a very small business based out of Connecticut, but honestly, they are super affordable. It's $2.50 for like one of her pre-made ones. And then if you want a custom one, it is $4, but honestly, it is so freaking worth it. This is the one that I currently have on my lips. It is a clear gel. This one is in the shade Jade, but guys, she's not paying me to say this. I swear to you, this is exactly like the formula for Jeffree Star's lip glosses. They stay on all day. She has beautiful shades. Like honestly, she's also super, super nice too. She did not send me these for free. I paid for them. And honestly, it was worth every dollar. When I run out, I'm going to go back to her because they are so good. I'll leave her information down below. I'll leave her website, her Instagram. She's just perfect, guys. She's so small too. So I really would love for you guys to show her some support because I can't say it enough. This is the best lip gloss I have ever used other than Jeffree Star best lip glosses. I promise you, mark my words. All right, so that was everything in last month's bag. And so we're going to get into this month's bag. Here is the bag itself. It has this cute little yellow background. And then there's just a bunch of girls lounging around. And honestly, when I first saw this, I was so excited 
about the design for one reason. And the one reason is that these are not skinny girls. I love that all of these girls are, they seem thick, they seem proud of their body. And honestly, they're all wearing a one piece, which is what I wear at the pool. So it makes me super, super happy to see this kind of representation out there. I really, I really love it. The first item we received is outside of the bag and it is, they are very, very sticky, but it is these two sheet masks by Avet. It is a daily fresh squeeze sleep sheet mask. This one looks like it might be all coconutty. And then this one has a bunch of wild stuff that I have ever seen. All the directions are in a different language. However, at the bottom, there are some directions in English. Oh, okay. So this one's soothing lychee which is su such a good flavor, by the way. Watery green grape, which I see the grapes there now, but honestly, I would have told you that it was coconut, but that's okay. So I'm very excited to get on into these. I love sheet masks, especially with one of those like Stella, whatever roller things, so good. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the bag. And the first thing that I pull out from the bag here is this Hashtag IMN, I still don't know really what this brand is called, but it's the hashtag IMN Velveteen Dream Shadow. And I like that it says on the side, I'm not missing out. And it looks like it's in the shade Queen B. I love that. All right, so let's get on into this so we can actually see it. Ooh, okay, so when you pull out the packaging, it has like a cute creamy white and black moment going on here. And then it is just a single shadow. It is more of a gold pattern. That's the swatch on the finger. Wow, okay. It's super smooth and it's swatched really, really well. I think that this would be a perfect shade for a highlight for like a darker skin tone. Right now my skin is pretty tan, um, but I don't really know if that would work on my skin tone, but I definitely think that this would be really, really cute on the eyelid. So I'm excited to get on into this for the try on portion. I love the fact that today I'm not as sassy as I was last time. Last time I was just, I was literally giving it to y'all. I was not having it. Okay, so the next thing that I pull out here is from Sugar Cosmetics. We've received a lot of stuff from Sugar in the past. This is the Matte as Hell Crayon Lipstick in the shade Viola. And Sugar is really, really good when it comes to just the quality of all of their products. I feel like you never hear about Sugar, but they are really, really good. I forget the I have so many things from them, but I have a bronzer. I now have this lipstick. I know I have a highlight. I have shadows. I have so many things from them. I just, I don't really always think about them. Here is a swatch right next to the swatch of that shadow. And I just really like it. It was super creamy when it went on and it does look very matte. This is one of my favorite colors to wear on my lips too. So I once again, I'm very excited to try this on for the try on portion. The next thing that we have here is the Preventive Measures 101 After Hours Lip Balm. So I guess it's just like a chapstick in the scent Passion Fruit. I wanna smell it, you guys know I love smelling. Ooh, it smells really good. It definitely smells like a passion fruit. I have so many chapsticks, but I think this is going to be something that I try on before putting up my makeup so that my lips are nice and moist. Ugh, I hate that word. <laughs> They're nice and lathered. I also hate that word for when we do our try on portion. The last thing that comes in this bag is this KVD Beauty Locket Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. So it's a translucent setting powder. This is the Kat Von D's brand that has been rebranded to not have Kat Von D. I know so, pe so many people don't like her uh, because she's been in so many different scandals, but honestly, I could care less. Um, I don't really, I support both her and Jeffrey. The only brand I swear I will never support again is Too Faced. I just, they're Too Faced and their brand name is perfect. So yeah. 
sorry, throwing a little bit of shade, but I wanted to take the thing off because I wanted to smell it, but it really doesn't have a scent. I think that this is pretty normal for a sample size of a setting powder, so I'm not too upset about the size, especially since it was in our glam bag, which are supposed to be sample sizes anyway, and it pretty much seems like we received, I mean, it pretty much seems like we received three full-size items. I mean, this is going to get a lot of work out of it, and then two sample sizes, but good size sample sizes, so this was definitely worth the price for this bag. At this time, I'm actually going to ask you guys to tell me what you think down below in the comments for this bag. I really like it. I don't think anything screams out as something I would have bought on my own, but I think we have a wide variety of things to try, and I'm really excited. I know I'm going to get use out of each one of these things. It's not like one of these is gonna never be used by me. So I'm definitely very excited for these items. All right, so now it's time to talk about last month's products from our Glam Bag Plus. And again, I was super sassy last month and I have to take everything back that I said. So the first thing we received last month was the Wander Beauty Frame Your Face Precise Jack Brow Gel in Clear. And I apologize so much to Wander Beauty. I have not been able to stop using that. I love what it does to my brows. I have literally not touched my e.l.f. Cosmetics brow stuff since then. And I'm just shook. Like, I was talking so much crap about it and I love it. And you'll see in an upcoming video, my friend Marissa and I talk about that product and what we think about it. So I'm not gonna go too in depth now, but I'm sorry, Wander Beauty, you guys are wonderful. I still think that you guys send out too much stuff and you came out of nowhere, but you and you, your brand is just amazing, so I'm sorry. The next thing that we had received was the MOTD or the Mata eye brush set of five. We used that, I've used it since. Really cute, love brushes. That's all I can say about brushes. The next thing that we had received was the colored rain palette in the Vineyard Soray. It was the beautiful purples that we received and I think that we really did a cute look with those purples. So I was very pleasantly surprised with that. And plus I have then found out since then that Colored Rain is a black owned brand and I love that. So I've been really supporting their brand since then um, and I'm glad I was able to have a product from them. The next thing that we had received was the Nomad Cosmetics Nomad X Sydney Bathers Kiss of Sun palette. That was that face palette that we had received and I also really liked that. I I used it I used it in that video and I have actually used it since and I think it just it uses like the lightest brush of color and I think that it works just Perfectly. And then the last thing that we had received last month was the Tarte Cosmetics Tardiest Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint in Fortune. And I got so many compliments over on my Instagram at sky.larjohnson of that color. And I wasn't sure if I was going to love it. I thought it might have been too dark, but it was really, really nice. It was my You Pick It item last month and it, it was great. So I love to announce that I have actually used everything that I got in last month's Glam Bag Plus since last month. So super, super exciting. So let's get into this month's products. And normally I don't want to talk about the add-on products that I got, but this month I can't help it. There, It's just so much has happened in these add-ons that I, I can't pass it up. So first let's talk about the bag. Here is the bag. It is the, pretty much the same exact thing as the glam bag, except for the background is green. And if we hold it up, it's kind of funny because this had a green tassel with a yellow background. This has a green background with a yellow tassel. But one thing I am really upset about is they are the exact same size. There's really nothing special about both of them individually. And that makes me upset because I feel like we were receiving really, really awesome Glam Bag Plus bags and they've just kind of on that since. So I would really like those items back. But there, here are both of these. And I, again, same comments. I really love that these are plus size, large and in charge women. I don't even know where to start. I think I'm gonna start with the regular items that we received and then talk about the add-on items. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So 
the first <laughs> the first thing that we received was these sheet masks again there's six of them that we received here by Jujin Cosmetics there is I, I like I can't even explain so there's double of each scent or I don't want to say flavor let's see what they are so this one here is the Jejun Wake Pure Shisho Calming Mask. So this here is the Jejun Wake's Pure Sea Berry Brightening Mask. And then this last one is the Jejun Wake's Pure Avocado Nourishing Mask. So there's three different masks that do three different things and I actually really like that. I'm really excited to kind of play around see the differences uh, and really, really get to using these. All right, so the next main item that we had received is this Dr. Brandt Skin Changing Science Pores No More Luminizing Primer. We have used Dr. Brandt before, but generally I get a lot more of their sample size items and not a full size item. So I'm excited to have a full size product. It comes out really, really easily, and I put just the tiniest bit on my finger here so I can tell you if I like the texture. Ooh, I like it. I can see where the luminizing comes into this. I think it's hard for y'all to see, but it definitely does have a luminous effect to it, which is not exactly what I want in my primers, but I, I mean, I cannot complain. I really do like Dr. Brandt. He has really great products, and they're really healthy for your skin. The next main item that we had received was this Arcelli liner in night. So I'm assuming it is a black liner and it is, it is just a black liner. I will say that that is extremely wet. That was a very wet line. It, I did put no pressure, so it's very pigmented, but I kind of fear that it might bleed a little bit but it's not bad it's definitely very precise you could do either a small line with it or build it up i will try this in the try on portion however i really really love the liner that i currently use which is by Girlactic. it's running out actually i think it's run out by now i'm pretty sure i had to throw it out my Girlactic liner is like my go-to so hopefully this can be my new go-to liner we know that on this channel, we don't have the best experience with liners. How? I don't understand. Oh my God. Luckily that was easy to cover up with a blender brush, but I have not. Okay, so the next main item that we had received in this box was a You Pick It item, and it is the Ciate London Marbled Metals Metallic Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Wicked. Wow, this is really weighted. It's a lot of products. They give you what you're paying for. It has one of those little packing tools here to repack the product. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. I really like the way it's in here. It, this is not like a normal eyeshadow by any means. I really like that. I like how it has a little bit of a shift to it. And I honestly just really love the packaging. The back is clear. I really love this. I love a lot about this. And the last main item that we had received in this box is this here flesh Fresh, oh, I, I'm gonna know I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna trip up on my words and I tripped up on my words talking about how I'm gonna trip up on my words. But anyway, the next thing that we have here is this flesh, flesh to flesh highlighting powder. And I love the size of this. I, I can feel that this entire box is filled. So for coming in our Glam Bag Plus, this is definitely worth whatever the price is. And it is in the shade Certain, and it says, run your finger over this powder. Can you believe how soft? It contains coconut and sunflower seed oils, plus pomegranate and ginger root extracts. So I, I got to test it, of course. 
I like that it has a mirror going on here. There's nothing to peel off of it, so we can't have our satisfaction of that, but I cannot wait. Okay, so it is very, very soft. Again, perfect pan size. And there is the swatch on my finger. Wow, we've had a lot of swatches this video. This is like a whole mood here going on. Let's see. Wow, okay. Very, very nice. Definitely a shade that I would wear for my highlight. So I am really excited to try this out. I like when packaging is not out there. So I really like this packaging. All right, so that was all the main items. And again, I normally don't talk about add-on items, but I am so excited about this month's add-on items that I feel like I just have to talk about it. I received five add-on add -on items. I'm only going to show you guys three of them. But the first one, I got another one of these. This is just like this here, metallic glitter eyeshadow, but this one is in the shade Entwine. Oh no. Okay, this just kind of went south, but when I just pulled this out, it seems like we had a little bit of an issue here, but what's good about this issue is that we have this packer tool so we can put it all back in there. We didn't really lose too much product, so I'm, it's not a huge deal. Wow, okay. I feel like this is going to be gorgeous as like inner highlight, inner corner highlight, even regular highlight, or just on the lid. This is really a versatile shade. Yeah, it really wants to stick to the packer thing. Look at this. Ooh, not really excited about that. The next add-on item that I am so excited to show you guys is this one. Oh my god, oh my god, I scared Layla. <laughs> Oh my God. So I got another one of the pearly matcha green tea priming moisturizer. And oh, if you guys have watched my videos, you know that I am obsessed with this and I'm actually going, I'm not going to go get it now, but when I do the try on portion, I'm going to use up the one that I already have. So I don't get into this one, but that one has just been used. It's like you can tell that there's not that much product left. So when I saw this as an add-on item, I I immediately jumped on it. Over on my Instagram, Perlise has been literally the most ugh, accommodating brand, I guess you can say. They just, they like so many of my posts. They respond to my posts. And I'm just so happy overall with their brand in general. And their products are amazing so how could I not okay and then the last add-on product I didn't even add on it just showed up so here we have the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette but I looked everywhere I tried to see if I accidentally used it as an add-on item I did not I tried to see if I used my points for this I didn't so it just kind of came, but I also already have this palette. So what I'm going to do is my mom's birthday is on July 2nd. So I am going to give this to her for her birthday. But I do want to let you guys know that if this ever happens in the future, I definitely am thinking about doing some sort of a giveaway in the future, probably through my Instagram and not so much through here, but we'll see what I do. So if this happens in the future or if I ever have an item that's a repeat item or I just don't see myself using it or something like that, I'm really going to start collecting those items and making a giveaway, probably small to start for you guys. So keep, please stay in tune for that. All right, guys. So that's really everything in these two bags that we received this month. I, I'm i not upset with any one product. I am kind of upset with this add-on that it is kind of performing the way it is, but still the color is vibrant. So I don't know. I'm kind of torn on that. Once again, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I think this is pretty much one of the best boxes we've received in a long time for both of them. I can totally see myself using every single product. I will be back tomorrow, but for you guys, I will be back right now.
Okay guys, we're back and it's actually been two days since the last time I saw you. Let's get on into the try on portion of this video. The first thing I'm going to do is put on this Preventive Measures 101 After Hours Lip Balm um, to kind of prep my lips and keep them nice and moist underneath my makeup application today. Okay, it really does smell like that passion fruit that it's supposed to which is really, really nice. And it's definitely nice and refreshing for the lips. So, you know, it's just a chapstick, but there's some chapsticks that are not really easy to glide on. And this one went on perfectly. I have absolutely no complaints. So right now I am currently putting on my Kale Serum from Sweet Chef. We received this a few months ago, and honestly, I really enjoy using it in all of my makeup applications. I don't really know specifically what it does. I know it's supposed to hydrate and soothe dry skin. Um, and I definitely will say I reach for this serum more than I reach for the other Sweet Chef one that we got, which I believe was Beet. I don't know specifically what that one is supposed to do for the skin, but I will say my, I just, I think my makeup application goes so much smoother when I wear this Sweet Chef serum shot than when I don't. The next thing we're gonna do is go into my old Pearly's Matcha Green Tea Primer and Moisturizer, and I'm really using it as a moisturizer today because I do have a primer that I would like to use. I mean, you guys know how I feel about this. I don't even need to explain. I will say with it being as warm as it is, cause today it's about like 90 something degrees. Uh, this really feels cooling to the skin. My face went from kind of burning up and feeling hot to just feeling nice, cool, relaxed. I. I, I cannot talk enough about how much I love this. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going to use is the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. And it does it is a pore primer, so I am going to focus this more on the T-zone, which is the forehead right here, down the nose. My nose is where I have the most pores, especially right at this tip, along the cheekbone here and under eye. And then I just grabbed a little bit more to put down here on the chin. I can definitely tell that this is a pore filling primer. It feels a lot like the Benefit Professional, but less sticky and tacky. And definitely this is more of a creamier texture I guess you can say it's not as thick I guess that's the word it's it's like thick with like one c versus that one is thick with like a thousand c's all right I am going to apply my foundation and my concealer and then we'll be back to talk about the kvd setting powder all right so I have some of the setting powder from kvd beauty on this morphe blender which I use this for my powder all the time. I will say, I mean, I know it's only a sample size and so I kind of can't really be upset with what I get, but I would have rather had a thinner bottom and more surface area because trying to get this brush in here is really hard and actually also trying to get the product into the cap, which is what I'm used to is also proving to be really hard. However, I really can't complain that much because this is the size of pan that I got when I first tried out Ciate as a sample size and I fell in love with it, so. Okay, so I let it bake a little bit while I put a primer down on my eyelids and then I just kind of wiped it away with the normal brush that I use. And I will say it was a lot harder to brush away this setting powder than my Ciate London one. It just, it felt like it really wanted to stick, especially here and on the chin. But you know, even after putting in a little bit of work, I think it's not too, too bad. I don't know why, but I feel, I feel like I'm not really liking this 
primer. I don't really know. Something doesn't feel right about my makeup today and I'm not sure what is affecting that, but okay. So now we're gonna move on to my eyes. And normally what I would say is that we would have to try to create a look using only the items that we received, meaning I have this here glittery shade and then these two Ciate London glittery shades. However, I've decided that as a loophole, even though I'm giving away the Huda Beauty palette that I received accidentally this month, I am going to go into the Huda Beauty palette that I already own and use this as a base and then get into the glittery shades after. So first I'm gonna take the center shade right here. I found that this is a really good transition shade and I'm just gonna pack it onto the brush and then into the crease. I really love the way these shadows blend and I'm so excited to be able to give this palette to my mom because she doesn't have any good high-end palettes and I think that this is just something that she could play with um, and not have to worry about spending a hard dollar for it. So thank you Ipsy for your screw up. <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna go into this shade right down here and pack that into the inner corner as well as just on the lid to give myself a good base. Okay, I would advise that if you were to, for some reason, want to recreate this look, which uh, I don't know who out there is, but mom, if you're watching this, I wanna create this look. I will definitely suggest to put the lighter shade down first, kind of on the eyelid and then use this to put it in the crease because I am finding that I need to go back in where I applied that color and reapply it just to make it vibrant again. Now I have a little bit of that Queen Bee eyeshadow on my fingertip and I'm just going to place that on the second half of my lid. I really like the effect that's giving. It's giving like a very wet effect and I'm almost wondering what it would look like if I were to take a brush, like a packer brush and wet it and then put this shade down. I think that would look absolutely stunning. All right, now I think I'm gonna save this shadow for another day, but I am going to go into the other Ciate London glitter shadow that we received, which this one again is the shade Entwine. So I tried to find a small packer brush and I'm going to take the loose, loose pigment and I'm kind of going to loosen it even more. And I want to put this right on the inner corner. Oh yeah. Okay. But wow, look at that shine. That is insane. I did not wet the brush or anything. I just really swirled it on into the product. One of my friends from high school recently asked me to do her makeup for her wedding. And honestly, I'm really thinking about bringing this down and using this because when this hits the sun, I'm sure it is going to be absolutely stunning. Wow, it, it's also super easy to use. I'm gonna take the other end of this exact same brush and just kind of move it around so it's actually less intense. I feel like it's just too intense. All right, I am going to go down into this lower darker shade here and just really darken the outer edge. Okay, so the next thing we have to try is this Araceli eyeliner, which I'm actually really scared to try just because um, when I did the swatch the other day on my hand, I felt like it smudged way too easily. And I'm really, really, really loving this look and I, I hope I don't screw it up. All right, well, definitely more dramatic than I wanted it to be, but we have some dramatic lashes that I wanna put on. I definitely, normally I don't really try to dry my liner, 
but I feel like I have to with this liner, just the way it applied and how definitely wet it feels. Um, it kind of scares me. These are the Pretty Ho Company's eyelashes in the shade Shoddy. She is a beautifully black owned brand. Actually, I want to mention also that the lip glosses that I talked about earlier, those that is also a black owned brand. So I really would love for you guys to give them some support. Both of them, they're both beautiful, beautiful women. Okay, so since you saw me, I went and put on some blush and bronzer so that we could get into this flesh. I do want to say that I really don't think I like that primer, the Dr. Brandt one. I can't tell if it's because I'm sunburned or not, but I went to go put the blush on the tip of my nose like I normally do, and everything just came off. The concealer that was on my nose, gone, and the foundation that was on my nose, gone. And I use those products all the time, so I know it's not them. Uh, so it's either the fact that I am sunburned and it's peeling, or the doctor brand just didn't do its job. And even it was, even if it was peeling, I feel like the doctor brand primer should like really, really cake all the skin in, even if it's dead and dry. All right, so I have gone into that flesh highlighting palette, and when we swatched it, it was beautiful. And it's still very, very gorgeous. Okay, so my final thoughts on this is I really like it. I think that it blended out beautifully. Um, and it really, it, it was one of, it's one of those things where, where you put it, it stays. And if you want it to go further, it will. And I don't know, I really like it. I think this is going to be one of the highlighters that I definitely reach for. And, all right, and the last and final thing for us to try is this Sugar Matte As Hell Lip Crayon in Biola. Honestly, you can still see the swatch from the other day and I've washed my hands a bunch. It just, I feel like it kind of stains the lips a little, but it's a beautiful color, so I don't really care. It is still super creamy. All right, so I think that this is a stunning color. Um, I do feel like it's very matte. It, even in the camera, it looks super matte. Definitely there is no luminous to this at all. I think it's a little bit darker than the swatch that we saw, but it's not bad. All right, guys, so this is it. This is the final look. Definitely more dramatic than I thought I was gonna go today. But I really, really love it. I've been watching a lot of RuPaul's Drag Race. And honestly, I'm ready to put on a wig, get my boobs pushed up, and just go on out there. So I feel like I didn't tell, I haven't really told you guys a lot about what Ipsy is. So Ipsy is a monthly subscription and there's three options that you can receive. It is $12 a month for the baseline Ipsy bag. And that comes with a bag and five sample items, but sometimes we have full size items. And then you can pay $25 a month for the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. You can either do both of those at the same time or one or the other, which is really cool. You can like decide. Um, that is five full size products. And then there's the Ipsy Ultimate, which I might be getting this wrong. I believe it's 50 ish dollars a month and it has eight products. I don't really know the combination of full size and sample. So uh, I haven't really looked into it. It never really caught my eye. All right, so over on my Instagram at sky.larjohnson, I asked you guys what your favorite brand was. And my best friend, he's just, he's funny. So he said that he still loves lip smuckers or smackers. I think it's lip smuckers which is that beautiful, which is that chapstick brand that was really popular definitely in the 90s, but it's still popular nowadays. Since we received a chapstick, I think that his response is worthy enough. So please go check out his Instagram. He is honestly the kindest soul in the world uh, and my best friend for the last 12 years. So I hope you enjoy 
him as much as I do. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and put a comment down below telling me what you think. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you haven't already to be notified when I post a video. Right now I don't have a posting schedule, so hitting the bell will let you know when I've posted a video. Thank you guys so, so much. Still stay safe. I love you all. Please, please, please check out all the channels and websites and all that that I have put down below. If you're interested in signing up for Ipsy yourself, I've also put a link down there for you to do it through me. Oh my gosh, I'm actually out of breath from everything I just said. Bye.